Oh my goodness. I have to talk about the opening scene with you uh, for the episode. Did you guys really shoot in Ghana? Yes, we actually shot in Ghana. That experience was like, honestly, it was life changing for me personally in a lot of ways. I can imagine it was such a beautiful shot where they're weaving through the streets so that you and uh, Gail could reunite. Oh my goodness. It was such a beautiful shot where you guys uh, reunite. And of course, congratulations for becoming an on-screen husband. Thank you so much. (laughs) What was the like for you to shoot the wedding scene? The fire's going, there's dancing. It was absolutely beautiful. That was a long day worth of filming. So how how it was is we flew in. It took all day to get there, of course. We flew from LA to DC to DC to Ghana. And um, we had a meeting when we landed. Uh, We got a a, a day to just, you know, get acclimated. And then we got right into it. And um, we started early that morning. I think my call time was like four in the morning. And, And we just like... It was straight story, straight script. And we were actually in the midst of the market and the market is really that busy. So we had to film in the midst of all of that in the heat. Like it was, it was, it was really, it was really intense, but it was, uh, it was an amazing experience. And it, it, it made us bring everything that we could bring, you know, to make this, the, um, the story come alive. So it was dope. It was really dope. And of course, you know, working with Gail and even the local actors that we got to work with, um, like my new friend in the show, his name in real life is uh, Mick Pratt. And he was amazing. He was amazing. And I was like, bro, like, how long have you been acting? Like, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's really cool to connect with actors on a whole nother continent. Um, so, yeah, it was dope. It was dope. Um, we saw that uh, you and Wanda got some trinkets while you were at the shop. Did you get to take anything home yourself in the end? <laughs> of course, I bought um, I bought some uh, some brass bracelets because that's a huge thing out there. I brought some um, handmade beaded bracelets. Uh, I got some shirts. I got um, my mom. She hand makes bags, so I brought her like a whole bunch of authentic African fabric to make bags with. So she was excited about that. Um, but yeah, I, I brought I brought a lot back home. But I plan on going back very soon. And so I'll get more stuff. Well, so does Leon, apparently. <laughs> How the character in my real life is like, hmm, I think I like it here. I want to go back. So <laughs> the art imitates life. <laughs> it was such a t- touching moment when you guys are in Ghana and that man is telling the story about slave trading. Was that something you were first learning about uh, those little details when he was telling the story? I mean, sure, it was probably in the script, but was it specifically that story? And what was going through your mind when this man is telling you this intense and historically factual story? Yeah, um, that information, it wasn't new to me, but hearing that information while we were at the actual castle. That is what made it intense. Um, When we got there, it was very emotional. Um, What I did was I walked through the, like as much as I could of the castle. I went in different like dungeons that they had in this castle. And I'm like, you know, just feeling the walls and just looking at everything. And I'm just like, man, like this place has a lot of pain a lot of hurt a lot of tears a lot of uh it's it's just very tragic um so feeling that in a mis filming was a lot you know um and you know thankfully we were able to to display that on screen but it was it was really intense it was a really intense moment and I, I honestly feel like people from all walks of life, every ethnicity should go to Africa and experience that because it was just uh, a huge part in history. But uh, but yeah, it was it was really intense. You guys come back to the United States. There's not a very warm welcome for you. Is that something Lee is expecting? You know, I think at this point, Lee, he doesn't really know what to expect. I don't even think he has any expectations at this point. I think he's just trying to figure out what really is going on because he leaves for however he leaves and he comes back to everything in shambles. And so things were already bad when he left. That's what 
made him want to leave in the first place. But to come back to everything worse, um, it definitely weighs on him immediately. He definitely feels the responsibility of fixing the family, fixing what's broken. Um, so now throughout the rest of the season, he's kind of having to navigate and to see where he fits in with his new mental and spiritual growth that he just obtained in, in, in Africa with also having to deal with family drama, even though, even though Jerome said he's not family and it's not, you know, it's not his business, but Leon is definitely, you know, definitely feels a responsibility because this is his family. You know, he didn't have any family outside of this growing up. So he definitely uh, is going to be conflicted for the rest of the season. For sure. What do you think he's most surprised about upon his return to finding out so much has gone down? I think uh, the most, the biggest surprise for him is Jerome and, and Franklin. I think he didn't see him warring with his own uncle and aunt um, at all. I think he wasn't, he wasn't surprised about how Dion is having the projects and how it just look, it looks hectic and worse than what it was before. That doesn't surprise him because he knew what kind of man Dion was before he left. Um, as soon as Dion found out Leon was leaving, he could see the wheels turning in his head and, and where he was going to take the projects. But the biggest surprise for him was coming back to Leon now. I mean, Franklin now broke because he was robbed and then he robs his own family. So that's the biggest surprise to him. Like, why is Franklin robbing his uncle? He has his own money. And then to find out that he doesn't have any money anymore. Um, that's the biggest surprise and shocker for him. Okay, so the big question is, have you picked a side? We will find <laughs> out. <laughs> we will find out. <laughs> I mean, you know, to me, I, you know, what I liked about last night's episode is he didn't just go talk to Franklin. You know, like he talked to Franklin, he talked to Dion, he talked to uh, Jerome and Louis. Um, so he gave everybody their fair shot and giving them their side of the story. So... I'm like the viewers. I'm curious to see what side he's going to choose and how that's going to pan out for him. All right. You're a part of social media. You ready to hear what people have to say about what's to come for this season? I know people loved last night's episode. Absolutely. All right. Well, you've been a part of this special series. What does it mean to you to have been a part of such a uh, POC centric series and also what are you taking away from having worked on this long running show? You know, this definitely to say this is life changing and this whole experience is life changing is an understatement. Um, I definitely had no idea that the show was going to be what it is today when I first booked the show. Um, I just thought it was going to be like a great project that I'm a part of and, you know, we're just going to tell the story. And I knew we had some great, powerful people back in the show, but for it to to get to this point and for them to really focus on how authentic they want to tell this story, that right there. And I just made an Instagram post about, you know, being a part of a show who cares so much about authenticity that they were willing to fly their actors to Africa to tell just a small part of a story. That's huge. Like that's that's huge. And I don't take that for granted. Um, because of course, like story-wise, it's great, but my personal life, I was able to experience, you know, my heritage and and and, and go visit where my ancestors are from um while I'm doing the thing that I love. So it, it's 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 very it's very amazing, you know, to to be a part of something so so great. Um and I'm gonna take away a lot from this show. I've learned and grew so much as an as an actor, as a performer. Um, and, and just as a person and my understanding of life has broadened and, uh, yeah, I, I have a lot of long life connections that I know I'm going to keep these relationships forever. So I, I have a lot to take away from this show. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work you do on our screens with this show? I really want to just say thank you to all the fans and supporters, because, you know, for me specifically as an actor, 
Um, I never, when I'm performing, I never really know how this is going to impact people. I'm just kind of going through the motions of just performing and, and, and bringing the words that are on this page to life. Um, so when I see the uh, the comments and how fans are excited and how invested people are in the show, it means the world to me. So I just I have nothing but gratitude in my in my soul to everyone who supports Snowfall. Um, so I just a big thank you.